we'll come to the next chapter that is data types so i'll be explaining different data types in python program so basically data type represent a type of data present inside a variable so what type of data is there inside a variable that will be given by a data type and also in python as you might have seen i have given an example of a is equal to 10 in first slide where i did not write specifically which type of identifier or variable i am defining so i know this is an integer but in another programming language i need to specifically say integer a right or character or string b or load c right but inside python we do not need to do that specifically and that is the reason it is dynamically type language right so before moving forward i would like to pay your attention on different type of inbuilt functions like type is one of the function so whenever you are seeing type of a it will tell you that it is an integer whenever you are saying type of b if at all it is having certain string values it will tell you this is a string id will give you an object so whenever you are calling an id of a it will give you what exact location that particular variable is stored inside a memory and print function that we have already seen so whatever you are defining inside a print function in double quotes it will give you an output right so these different inbuilt data types in python like integer complex float boolean in and so on until list double set and dictionaries and even none so we'll see all those in jupyter notebook before that i would like to highlight you uh, another detail of type casting what is type casting is this is an uh, uh, important interview question that will be asked inside your python coding rounds so whenever you wanted to convert one data type into another you have you can directly do it by using type casting how it works so for example i have e is equal to 10 so i know by default using dynamically type it is integer right but now i wanted to convert this a into string so how i will do i will do str of a right so whenever i will be doing this so it will print 10 but in quotes so that will be an output as a string what you did you converted integer into string by typecasting and using default function of str so there are different inbuilt functions in typecasting that we can use that are int float complex boolean and str so we will see those examples one by one these three functions we have already seen for example um, if this is a float and you are converting into integer this is boolean you are converting into integer this is integer converting to float this is integer converting to complex number integer converting to boolean and float converting to string so this is the output of it whenever you are converting this float into integer it will give just integer similar way for others right this is the way you can do a type casting examples inside our jupyter notebook so um, i have taken different variable or identifiers and i have given different values so a has integer b has strings c has float d has boolean and this is the list tuple, dictionary and uh, complex number so if at all you are not aware about list tuple dictionary we will be seeing them in upcoming sessions so whenever i am completing this operation using shift enter it will tell me what type of particular identifier that we have defined is we did not specifically define so python on inbuilt it will tell what that particular variable is all about so that's why it is dynamically typed so now whenever you wanted to see where exactly this is stored you can just check it with id so it will tell you okay in this particular uh, system at this location this e is stored so there are two types of memories that we have already that is one is heap memory one is stack memory so whenever um, you are defining a variable so whenever you are seeing e equal to 10 e will be stored to stack which will be referring to the value which is stored in heap memory right so this is globally accessible and this is um, limited to the scope that is defined so these are two types of memories that we deal about whenever you are classifying or defining any object classes or functions inside python 
right so moving back to the typecasting whenever uh, all these examples which i have shown you it will be converting those to the specified numbers and that is it about our chapter data types thank you see you in the next chapter